the church again was founded to help people who were, had many of them formerly enslaved to have a chance to worship as full citizens. Mm -hmm. Whether, no matter what type of work people did during the week, a lot in the South, a lot of black women cleaned houses, they did domestic work. The movie, The Help shows a lot of that story. Some black folks had their own businesses in the black community. The church was a place where they could be called Mr. Brown and Miss Brown. The mm -hmm. church where they were somebody, where they could hold offices, where they could pool their resources. Excuse me, in many instances, before there were public schools, churches had elementary and junior high schools. That's where children got to learn how to read and write. When many people moved north, churches were doing some of the same thing. The difference between the north and the south in large is that folks did not like black people in the south, but individuals could be part of white families. In fact, a lot of families, white families, if they didn't have anything else, they had a maid. Mm -hmm. And many, a white child was raised by that black maid. Mm -hmm. So churches, some depending upon the denomination and the traditions, some were more active with social uh, ministries and social justice, some weren't. Again, in the twenties, especially in the North, you had what was called institutional churches. Institutional churches were those that were intent on making sure if people needed education, then they had reading and writing classes taught at church. If they needed to sew mm -hmm. to get a trade, sewing classes. Some of the churches had nursing classes. And also the churches partnered like with, the, with institutions like the YMCA. So in Harlem, some people would go get, learn how to be an LPN through the YMCA. And